We get overwhelmed with a lot of great plugins every year, but these three are some of my favorite for Final Cut Pro and they're also for DaVinci Resolve. I'm very grateful that Motion VFX, the company that makes these plugins, agreed to sponsoring this video and they've also agreed to a big 20% off coupon that is only available for the next five days. More on that later. If someone came up to me off the street and said, Dylan, I don't really wanna buy many plugins, maybe just one, which one should I get? I would almost certainly say M Essentials, and here is why. Whether you have the Resolve version or the Final Cut version, you pretty much have everything you need in one plugin with its 65 different presets. Let's say you have a video comparing two tripods. You could use some of the customizable buttons and infographics to show your viewer which section of the video they're on and the stats that you want them to know. And these are all fully customizable, so if you want different colors, font, a drop shadow and stuff, you can change them easily. The on-screen controls also make it incredibly easy to resize and reposition. Pretend we're creating a promo video for this plant nursery. We could use one of the intros and outros like preset one to create a nice logo animation to end the video without the need to do any animation ourselves. There's also different placeholders and a section that really might come in handy for you, a tool section with different ways to highlight and accent certain areas of your shot, create a smooth zoom in, and a nice little pop-up that you could use to show what you're gonna touch on in your video. Some of you may not see these little pop-up presets as useful, but it is little touches like these that help to keep your viewer more engaged and make your video look more professional. The pack also has different lower thirds, titles, and subtitles that help speed up your time editing so you don't have to create the text and animation yourself. As much as I love editing, I'm not trying to spend hours creating motion graphics like these, so that is where plugins like this really come in handy. Going through the process of adjusting the scale, position, and animation of a picture-in-picture picture can be a pain. So they've also added three different placeholder effects that you can use to quickly have a picture or video pop up within your frame. Maybe when you're explaining something or showing something off. And one of my favorite features of this plugin is the transition pack that it comes with. I am a sucker for nice transitions. It comes with 11 different ones that are a great way to uniquely transition from one shot to the next. The second plugin for FCP and Resolve is called M Lowers Universal, and this is pretty much a one stop shop plugin for lower thirds. You could definitely use these as titles too, just by repositioning and changing the size with the on screen controls. M Lowers Universal comes with 71 different lower thirds presets that are broken down into six categories. Clean, which you could use for commercial projects, promo videos, or YouTube videos. Cinematic, which would be great for documentaries, music videos, or films. There's Glitch Lower Thirds, which might be great if you create tech or gaming content. Retro, which for some reason I picture as working well in coffee and small business videos. You have Social Media Lower Thirds, which comes with 12 different presets that have really cool animations that can be customized to fit whatever platform you use. So if you like Social Media preset number seven, but you don't use TikTok, you could just hop into the inspector and change the icon type to Instagram or whatever you'd like. And lastly, you have the text section, which is obviously very useful if you need text effects for anything tech related. The third plugin for Final Cut and Resolve is killer for anyone who's interested in or likes cinematic style videos, whether that be short films, documentaries, or cinematic social media content. It is called M Style Cinematic. Just with a few overlay presets, we can go from this to this. And all I did was just drag a few of the presets over top of the footage. Breaking it down, we have one of the LUTs that the pack comes with, a cinematic flare, an anamorphic effect, film grain, and a letterbox. And there's a few other sweet presets in this overlay section. M-Style Cinematic also comes with 10 titles and lower thirds that you can use as credits, titles, and more. Other than the overlays, the transitions that come with the pack are a favorite of mine. It comes with nine different drag and drop transitions. I used the dissolve transition in this pack in my recent video portrait because it had a unique look to it that was different from a normal dissolve. You have a cool transition that does a bit of camera blocking to help you transition from one shot to the next, a useful speed ramping slash shake transition that I quite like, and there's a lot more that you might find useful. 
So this 20% discount is something they've only given to me, I think, and maybe one other creator for the next five days only. Only five days. So if any of you are interested in these plugins or any other plugins that Motion VFX has to offer, then now would be the time to pick them up. The code is in the description and I'll also include some other videos where I go over other Motion VFX plugins that I love if you're wanting to see what else they have to offer. And before you go, if you want to ask me if they have any plugin that would fit the style of videos that you make, leave a comment below and I'll try and answer as quickly as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.